folks, how's it going? So uh, this is now day five of the five day lead magnet challenge. Uh, sorry, it's taken me a day or two longer just to get here, but um, here we are now. So basically what I wanted to go through today is how to use your fabulous new lead magnet. Well done, by the way, if you've got this far, because sometimes people don't always make it to the end of these challenges, but this is, I feel, one of my most valuable because creating content is where marketing is at the moment. So please make sure that you've um, like, well, A, well done for getting to day five and to the end of the lead magnet challenge. But also um, like, please now you've got to go out and use your lead magnet. So it's all well and good you creating the lead magnet, but it's not great if you don't actually do anything with it. So um, I'm just gonna run through a couple of like five different ways that you can use your lead magnet. Uh, so bear with me one second and then I will show you how. So here we go. So basically, um, you've gone to all the trouble to create your lead magnet or multiple lead magnets and now you don't know what to do with it. So many people create them and they don't know what to do with them. The lead magnet is one has one specific purpose. This is to generate leads for your business. So there, um, therefore you need to find multiple ways, not just one way, but multiple ways of distributing your lead magnet in as simple and efficient a manner as possible. So the first way you can do that is through something called an email lead capture. So you can kind of post stuff send people through to your website and say, hey, if you want my lead magnet, we'll do it in exchange for an email um, address. Now that's great, but most people are quite skeptical of using those now. Plus I've been through a number of times like the click through and open rates um, on things like MailChimp and um, all of the outbound email marketing tools are not great, um, certainly compared to if you're sending out personalized emails. So um, it's, but, but one of the things you could do if you want to create automation, you could just get a lead page set up, click funnels, get something set up in type form or a MailChimp form, and you could just automatically send that lead um, magnet out to your prospects. Uh, so that's the first way. The second way then is to install a Facebook pixel on the, um, the download page so that rather than going to an email capture, we just pixel that person, add them into an audience, and then you can retarget them later to maybe join your Facebook group or something like that. Um, so there's no, no data capture here. The user doesn't actually have to put anything in, but you can send, send them through to form. Also, I mean, you could also use um, a lead form in Facebook ads, uh, which is a, a great new tool which they added in about um, 12, 18 months ago, um, where you can actually deliver the lead magnet to them like straight away. Um, that, that's a pretty tidy way of doing it because it's all dealt with within the Facebook ecosystem. System, but you can only do that if you're driving like paid ads to it. And I'm getting click-throughs now about two pound, two pound fifty per lead um, lead form submitted. So if you're willing to spend out the money on getting those leads, then absolutely fine. I found they work much better to a warmer audience. So again, you need some kind of a lift built up in order to actually make that worthwhile. But at the very least, you should be giving your lead, lead magnet away, but pixel the audience basically. Uh, the next way is to add a, a call to action against um, multiple social media posts. So um, like say something along the lines of, if you wanna read the full report, then click here to download X, Y, and Z. And then they just get access to it. So just give it away. But make sure that all of your, your brand, your contact information is all stuffed into your lead magnet. Because otherwise you're just giving them a free report with like no reason to get in touch with you again after that. Uh, the fifth way is you could actually turn it into a Kindle download. So I do this with a lot of my lead magnets. I've done it with Kickstart. I've done it with the seven marketing secrets. I've just actually um, literally uploaded the Word document uh, using the Kindle Direct publishing platform and made them available as a Kindle download. Now, you could do that. They'll be on Amazon like pretty quickly within 72 hours. And you could do it as a, a total freebie, like um, if you just wanna, want to give it away and see whether that will attract people in, or you could make it paid for, in which case there's obviously some kind of like transfer of value here. So if you can get people to pay for your lead magnets, they're probably more likely to get in touch with you after they've read it. And then the final way is just to email it to existing clients or existing prospects in your list. So it might be that you've got a list of a few hundred people or even a few thousand or few tens of thousands of people so just create a new lead magnet or report and send it out to them. I mean, I've, I've signed up to something called Traffic and Funnels recently, um, which is, a, and they've got this thing, which is like $7 a month or $9 a month or something. And it's, it's to their monthly memos. So basically every month I actually get a physical copy of the memos through, normally printed on some quite funky colored paper. Um, I haven't even had a chance to look through many of these, but this is like seriously, seriously like high value stuff here um, that just keeps me 
in and it, it it's a it's not really lead magnet it's paid for but it just keeps me in touch with like the, the best information that's coming out of like traffic and funnels like taylor and chris at traffic and funnels they're they're amazing guys and so i've got this sat on my desk um i am going to gradually start working my way through it probably scan some of these documents in as well so it's not just a, a, a load of sheets of paper on my desk um but this is good stuff they email it through as well like once a month which is quite handy um yeah so so there's tons of different ways of, of using a lead magnet but do make sure you use it so just to summarize we've got email lead capture we've got facebook pixel or facebook lead form you've got social media posts uh, you could add it as a Kindle download or you could e email it to your existing list, basically, if you've got those already. Um, so hopefully that's helpful, guys. If you've got any questions about this, then please do fire them in. And we will, um, I, I'd, be, I'd be really interested to see if anybody started to create a lead magnet. Please share it into the group because I want to take a look at some of these and uh, we'll take it from there. But that's day five of the five day lead magnet challenge. I will see you all for the next five-day challenge in about some three or four weeks' time. Hope you found that helpful. Take care. Love you all.